this side. Yeah, well, you look even shorter than possible. <laughs> she Probably no difference. I tried to stand on the tall side. She tries to side. stand on the tall side to fool you all. Hello then, hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is the actual intro. Even though we're filming this on Sunday as we're about to depart. Shh, don't tell anybody. No, they, they won't know Magica TV. Um, it was really, really windy saturday yesterday as we were wandering around and we just couldn't get an intro in together heather was wandering around talking with the couple that we went to walk with and uh, every time it was not windy we weren't together etc so <laughs> by the magic of tv we've changed clothes it's sunny it's not windy luckily for it's not smell -o vision but we have changed clothes anyway yeah <laughs> so yeah this is what we did on friday saturday and a little bit of sunday before we went home and, and Do then you want me to tell people where we are? Yeah, you can tell people where we are, <laughs> even though there is a separate site tour for this video. Yeah, we're at the Wirral Park Caravan site. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that. Caravan and Motorhome Club. Yes. So yeah, we're there. This is what we did this weekend. Right, so on the Friday evening when we got here, the, the reason for coming this weekend, apart from to try the site out with the CV owners group, is a, one of the members was retiring, so we had a little retirement um, meeting where I'm standing now, a little party for him. Hello, Will, if you're watching. And um, so the party was here, which I will throw a little tiny bit of footage in. It was a private thing, really, so there was just a funny thing at the end, which I'll throw in. And then... On the Saturday night, another one of the members, Hello Helen, had a birthday. So again, I'll just stick a photo of that in. So won't yeah, say you won't say what age she is, but she's younger than Steve, <laughs> but, but older than me. So yeah, apologies as we say for the sort of sometimes these vlogs have a lack of footage in them. That's because we are actually doing personal stuff as well as it's a lot harder for us to film when we're um, not on our own i guess isn't it because we get carried away talking to other people yeah. and doing other stuff but anyway on no it's private sometimes isn't it so anyway there you go public we're pub <laughs> we're public it's a single night oh, it's bloody hell yeah it's quick saving isn't it um, um, and then we went to um, I mean, they've got, they've got, um, uh, they've got, I just want to say, here's to a really happy retirement and here's to many more dudes like this. Cheers! Cheers. Happy retirement, Cheers. happy retirement. Keep me standing for <laughs> Detective Inspector Wilfrey! Yay! We're retired! Thank you very much. I know, I know. Morning, Saturday, the nineteenth of March. Another weekend away in the van. Another old railway line. <laughs> Seems to be a habit. We're on the Wirral Way, just outside the uh, Caravan and Motorhome Club site, and uh, we're going to have a walk into wherever it is. I don't know. Heather's gone off talking. I'll have to add all that in. Professional, hey? So, yeah, old railway line, obviously, as you can see. Bridge coming up. I can't remember. My research is terrible, but that's what you love about the channel, isn't it, really? Um, what railway this used to be. So I'll either repeat myself later when I find out, or I'll add a graphic magically under the, under the, you know, under the picture now, telling you what it is, and also probably telling you where we're going, because I don't know anything. Heather's the planner, and she's gone off gassing away again. Um, we're at the Caravan and Motorhome Club this weekend. First one we've been to. We've only recently joined, and. Um, there's a CV owners meet on, same type of vans as us. So the couple that we're with have got a van the same. There we go, I don't know what. Lynx Bridge, Wirral Country Park on the Wirral Way. 
doesn't tell me what railway it used to be there. So yeah, off for a walk. I believe for a change, you know, it's very unlike us, but Heather's found some sort of micro pub. Uh, it's about a three and a half mile walk, I think we're going. So there may be beer involved. Yeah. Heather's now going to attempt a forward somersault with triple. <laughs> There we go. A bit windy, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, tide's in now. And that's Wales over there. Don't know if the camera will pick this up. There's so many um, wind turbines in the sea up there. It's a lovely day, just a bit breezy. If um, the couple that are walking with us ever get a word in edgeways, I will drag Heather off towards the camera. <laughs> I think they're just waiting for her to pause. Of course, you know, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> That's Hillbrae Island, H-I-L-B-R-E. And when the tide's out, you can walk over there. You can see the difference in the colour of the uh, water there, look. That being an estuary. And then this is a, they've made a boating lake here, which obviously doesn't get as muddy. I didn't even know they could play football. Happy days. <laughs> Looks like we're going on the beach. There's a song about that. Who, Chris Rea? <laughs> I'm sure Cliff Richard did it. I'm sure Chris Rear did one. Did he? Didn't Cliff... Oh, I'm thinking it was Cliff Richard. Well, that was difficult to tell, but yeah. <laughs> it was the did 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 bit, <laughs> which all your songs seem to get. <laughs> that <don't> matter. <laughs> right, there's actually no wind where I am now. You can see that Hillbre Island from here. Hello, everybody. I've been given the camera. I don't know what I'm supposed to say, and it's really windy, but it's absolutely glorious. You would never think that it's March. Um, like I say, the wind is still cold, which you'd expect in March, but it is, it's absolutely glorious. Um, I mean, a wonderful walk. Got into West Kirby hell of a lot quicker than we thought we would. Um, and uh, yeah, just fabulous. <laughs> And as I've said before, I doubt whether the camera is really doing it justice, how beautiful it is. Yeah, it'd be a nice house to live in this, wouldn't it? Light and airy. <laughs> Think about it. But the electric bills a fortune. There's a close up of Hilbert Island. Here you can see the old train tracks for the uh, sea train. <laughs> Joking, of course. Could have used that as a Heather's made up fact of the day, couldn't we? Floating trains, whatever next. Got to be wide gauge, obviously. I don't think we can go in because of the dog, can we? But yeah, yeah, we'll have a look. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky! What we've got. 
Yeah, we deserve this after a walk, it's our prize. Find somewhere for the fish and chips. If we can find a seat. Not looking good. Not looking good. Oh dear. There are some more around that side, but they look like they're full as well. We couldn't find somewhere in the park to sit, so we've had to come on the seafront. You lot are weird up here. Calling that a fish? A fish? Batch? <laughs> it's a bloody bap. We call it a bap. Soft bread, it's a bap. Weirdos. It's a roll. No, it's not a roll, it's a bap. It's, yeah. it's a flowery bap. <laughs> yeah, so even though it's an estuary, um, it is quite a, a lovely view to have a campsite where you can see the, uh, the sea. Very nice, as we've said before, whales over there, look. Oh yeah, absolutely fantastic sunsets, which typically for us, we didn't film because we were too busy gassing at the parties we were at. Did you take some photos? Yeah. Oh well, Heather will stick a photo in, yeah, but lovely sunset. Stick well, oh yeah, I'll stick her in. <laughs> but yeah, lovely sunset over there, it was really nice. Really blessed with the weather, as I say, end of March. Other than a bit of wind, it's been really, really nice. I'm only quickly filming this, I'm not filming number plates, but we've seen our first CV80. Hey. <laughs> there you go. From the outside, From the outside yeah. We, we did speak to this couple last night, but I just thought I'd quickly insert in, if you remember our video where we went to Brown Hills to see a CV80 and it wasn't there. We've seen one. Just doing the home service point bit before we drive off. And uh, it's mass exodus this morning. You can tell. The tap that I replaced, the bigger ball one's a lot better than the standard one. The crew are waiting to depart. All pre-flight checks have been done. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, waiting for the pilot to ready the ship and we'll be off. He is the captain of the ship. Correct. Whatever. <laughs> is that the next line? <laughs> Just pulling off the motorhome service point now. Yep. You get a key, Heather meant to say. You get a key for the barrier. Yeah. Yeah, when you arrive, you find your pitch and then you go back and tell them what your number is and they give so you So this is, this is our pitch just here on the right hand side. Yeah, you've got to go back, tell them which pitch you picked and that key's to get you in and out of the site if you need it. You've just got to go and drop that off. And uh, we'll be away. We're going to go and get some gas on the way back at one of the services. Always a trial. Either works first go or it doesn't. <laughs> like I say, these pictures are lovely. Oh yeah. When the when the weather's nice. <laughs> You're a bit exposed when it's not. <laughs> they can hear you. She's excited to go home, isn't she? <laughs> She's the only one then. <laughs> yeah. Press the button. That's it. And hand the key in. I shall pause this while you hand the key. Okay. Righto. Departing. So, first visit. <coughs> Finish? Yeah, good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. First visit to Caravan and Motorhoming Club completed. And pretty good. Nice yeah. weather made the big difference. But it yeah, always does everywhere, doesn't it? Everywhere that's the same. Nice sight though. Glad we joined so far. We've got we've got a fair few of these this year booked um, to try them out really. Mm -hmm. So Next video for us is don't know at the minute for you. Um, we've, we've definitely got a couple of weeks off going away in the van now. Yeah, if, you, if we disappear, we've not disappeared. Yeah, we are gonna be cutting back on the videos. Um, 
past few months I've had a lot of stuff in the bank, van reviews and stuff like that, but they're exhausted now by the time you see this. <laughs> so um, it is literally catching up with house admin and um, the odd trip. <laughs> Ready for a, a summer of... <laughs> yeah, summer of, it's gonna be crazy this summer. But for now, it's gonna be a bit sporadic for a while, but we have, look out on the, uh, the last day of March, we're gonna chuck a video up on the last day of March explaining what's cracking on from now. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. We'll wrap it up. Yep. This is the little clubhouse, by the way, straight in front that we visited on Friday. It's another caravan site, but you can actually use that clubhouse. So straight in front of you, TCOA Social Club. There you go. Anyway, we'll wrap that up now. We'll catch you on the next one whenever, wherever that is. See you later. Bye. Are you going to say bye? Yes. Oh. You're just waiting for the uh, dramatic pause, are you? No, it was because there was traffic and people. Yeah, but I'm driving and I said whatever. bye. I uh, left here. Yeah. Are you going to say bye then? Um, bye. <laughs> you see, see you there's lovely parks that way as well. There it is, yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon. <laughs>